Hi guys, Wardens here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the race event Dizzy Heights. As of right now, there's one good path to take in the beginning, as the pattern is always the same. If you're watching this in the future, they may have added random variations to this part. Try to learn this pattern by memory. In the first row of spinners, take spinner number 2. If you spawn on the right side, take spinner number 3 and then exit onto spinner number 2 as early as possible. From here in second row, you go to spinner number 2, then spinner number 1. Third row, spinner number 1, and continue straight on. From here you basically do the same but in reverse order, so spinner number 1 to spinner number 2 and then continue to spinner number 2 in 5th row. Alternatively, you can go on to the 3rd spinner in the last row as there will be fewer players on the right side compared to the left side. The most crucial part of this intro is to never jump, as there is a bigger chance of you falling over as well as it being actually slower. The next section with the balls and boxes is all about timing. If possible, dodge the balls by going in between the boxes. If not, try to dive under them. This does require some practice, but a general rule of thumb is to dive earlier rather than later. For the third section we want to apply some of the same principles as we learned on the first section, by going in the same direction as the arrows. If you go back and watch the intro again, that is what we did. The difference here being though, that we do have to jump between the platforms. When you get to the final platform, get as much distance off of the jump as possible. On this third section, you will often encounter various obstacles, like swinging thick bonkers or pendulums. Look far ahead and try to anticipate where the obstacle will be swinging before you arrive there. Then apply appropriate measures. The final section can have a couple of different variations. The original one with the giant spinners, where you just have to keep in mind that the balls or fruit will also be affected by the way the plates are spinning, therefore have to dodge accordingly. You can also get the variation with the five spinning platforms and the giant whirly gig hole spinner in the middle. On this variation I'm still not sure whether it's best to go right or left, but I definitely know that it's unwise to go in the middle. If you have the option of using big yeeters, this is one of the safer maps to do so, as there's a big platform where you can land and the respawn is fairly close to the big yeeters. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the dull reels will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, leave a comment on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand, or you'd like to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, and you have been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and a good life. Bye.